Welcome back. This is Mr. G. And let me tell you what happened in the previous episode. In the previous episode, episode two, we talked about the three things that make an engine run, which is air, fuel, and spark. That's what creates a fire. Using this process, we used a pull start. That means you have to pull start the engine with your arm and a cord. To make an improvement in this episode, we convert it over to a drill start, which is similar to an electric starter on a, on a, like a car. Check it out. We're going to do the drill start. That's what we're doing next. All right. All right, so it's time to put the blade. The shaft comes through, and then you're supposed to put this, but the adapter's not fitting on. So I was like, okay, well, what's going on here, All right? So if you go here, I got some parts. This is the bottom of a, the plate for a engine, and this is the crankshaft. But the this sticks through just like this, just like what you saw. And then you have a keyway similar to this and it fits like right on it fits perfectly and then you'd put there's a bolt that goes through here which comes with this little with this little kit and uh but this is for a this is for a seven ace right so i i checked it with this it just fits on there and that's 0.87, so it's 0.871, which is basically 0.875, which is basically 7 eighths. But then if you go over here, you see, and you know, within reason, it comes out to 0.981. So that means I gotta go shopping. All right, I'm gonna go home, De home Depot and I'm gonna get myself a uh, adapter with the blade, the bolt, and the there's like a spring plate or something like that. thing I should point out, if you've never used one of these, this is called a caliper. This can measure a human hair. So what you do is you reset it to zero and then lock the face and just make sure that everything's okay, yeah? And then you can actually measure, see that comes to 0 0.005 of an inch. And by the way, if you put a human hair in there, it would measure uh, 0 0.002. <laughs> Why do I know this? Because when I teach this stuff, I just ask someone, hey, hand me like an extra hair or whatever, voluntarily. And then... Um, we just measure it, which is mind blowing that this little that this little device can do that. And this is called a caliper. Now, they sell really high quality ones, like this one. This one's made in Japan, and uh, ones that are made in the U.S., Germany, and Japan. These are like spot on. The ones made in China, they used to be bad. They're actually pretty good now and really low priced. You can get one for like thirty bucks. I recommend the General One O Seven. And that is what I what we buy at the school, and it, it works fine. I'm already missing the tail stay, but and the face glass. But I just I'm just careful, so it's no problem. And it's all stainless steel, just like your silverware in your house. So they last forever. Really nice machine to have for uh, instrument of measuring. <laughs> hey, this is Mark from the Shadow Makers. If there's anything in this video that you'd like to learn, Mr. G offers classes at the link below that you can sign up for. Enjoy the video. So I need a way to get this on here. All right, we're back in the home garage. It's Sunday night. We're gonna continue working on the uh, lawnmower. Okay, so what we got here is the cover. It has a couple things going on. It's got the gas tank. And the recoil, you know, the starter coil. And it's a cover that allows um, air to cool off the engine when the fan is moving, which is part of the flywheel. Just uh, two bolts here, one, two, and then two more here. One, two, and then... Ah, ah, 
Boom. Okay. So what this reveals is your flywheel. Uh, lots of stuff going on here. So there's this, uh, you know, cover. The flywheel has a fan. There's actually a brake dead man switch. So when you click on the wand, you know, you put this together. I can't do it with one hand, but you pull the wand together. It pulls on a cable, which then closes that, which pulls the brake. This is a very simple brake right here. And it stops the flywheel moving very quickly. So what I want to do is I want to put a drill on here and be able to start this without the coil. Now, the way this works is when it gets pulled on, those little paws come out and then it retracts it. See? So those paws hook up to this little cup looking thing. And what that does is it turns the flywheel. Now what we need to do is hook up a drill with a socket. Okay, so we found the correct, for this particular mower is gonna be a 24 millimeter. How do you know? Because it fits in there pretty good. So I need a way to get this on here. A lot of people on the internet, what they do is they put a carriage bolt in here that has a the square We'll have to make something that accommodates this drill because this is the one we're going to do for this situation. Okay, here we are at the high school using the lathe. This lathe is from the 1940s. It's old school, manual. But as you can see, what you could do is you could cut the threads off the end. And what you get is that you could put that in the drill. And on the other side, you'll have a part that will hook up to the socket. So basically, it's an adapter that hooks up the drill over to the socket so I can start it like as if it's a car. Does it work? Wait, do I record like, your face? It's recording, yeah. It's yeah, recording. I, I know that. What are you that. doing? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so I'm here. Go. I can't do it. Go. Uh, uh. Please excuse my student, she's used to TikTok. Okay, as you can see here, I have the socket hooked up to the adapter we just made, hooked up to the drill. But then when I go to put it on, two problems. The socket doesn't quite fit, so it slips. And then the other problem is that I'm hooked up to a what's called an overrun clutch. I'm going to need that for my engine back at the home shop. You know, once I start it, I have to pull it off very quickly. Otherwise, it's going to overrun my drill, which then could send push my hand as well. So, But let me show you what's going on here. This goes like this. You see? And this is called an overrun clutch. Now, it doesn't look like much, but basically these little ball bearings, what they do is they fit in these little pockets. And then this star looking thing goes here, okay? Now, you take the, the ball bearings and you put them in here. Uh, now, it, seem, <laughs> it seems like I'm making this up, right? <laughs> But this is really how it goes. It's like a joke. And what happens is it won't allow it to slip. See, it can move, right? But in the other direction, there's no resistance at all because of the curve of the, uh, what's called, I guess, like a dog or a paw, right? And then it grabs. Now, you got to have this going. Okay, this goes on here. Okay, so now it grabs. It's okay, so you see it goes one way but not the other. That's similar to like a bicycle gear. This will go this direction, but when you go to the other direction, it won't go. See? Locked. Locked. Some people call this a freewheel. Now, why is this important? Okay, well, let's say you go to, we're gonna, the goal is to start this with a drill. Okay, so you take the drill and you go to start this thing. Now let's say the engine gets going, it goes zoom, 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 and then pop, and it starts going boo, and the RPMs go faster than the drill, and my hand's on there, it's gonna pull my hand. So what some people do on the internet is they just lift off, but it, you know, 
we're trying to make this a little safer so that anybody could operate it. Mr. G. All right, thanks for watching that episode. I really appreciate that. And if you're interested in learning how all those parts and pieces work, I have classes on my website, uh, Engines 101, Welding 101. I have Electric Vehicles 101, all of which will get you to the point to converting your car or learning mechanical things and fabrication. Okay, so stay tuned for next episode. Next episode, we eliminate the gasoline, but we use the drill. So it's going to be a drill drive straight through the engine. We're going to pull out the piston. That's going to be a pretty cool episode. All right, stay tuned. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you later. Plus, if you put a comment in, I read all the comments, so I'd love to hear what you think. Okay, see you later.